Hey guys, Marvelous Packs back for another episode. And I wanted to show you guys the VV app. It's pretty awesome. Um, app.vv.me slash store. Once you've logged into your um, to your app into the, your mobile device and you've uh, registered an account, you can come into the web app and look at the market. And within the marketplace, it's pretty exciting to see all the different collectibles available also the comics, which uh, I'm going to try and see if I can highlight for you guys some of the cooler comics that I like. Now, if I wanted to see them all, I'd click see all and you can check out the value in the marketplace, what they cost because they've all sold out for the retail. So in the store, um, in the store icon, you can get the drops at drop release and then you basically put in uh, the seven gem retail price, which is six ninety nine, uh, seven gems, seven dollars, um, and then you can go ahead and go for the drop and get the comic, and you might get a chance at uh, a, a rare edition. If we look at this New Mutants eighty seven first appearance of Cable, you have the different editions that you can hit. Now each one has a certain odds of hitting on drop, but right now since they're all sold out, we would if we wanted to purchase them, we would look in the marketplace. This is a 1 in 59 cover uh, of Art, Art of Cable. Uh, the Secret Rare is the most rare one and has the fewest editions available for sale on the market. Right now, the Secret Rare is going for 127 gems, which um, seems pretty low considering it's the first appearance of Cable. Um, it's a really good book. Uh, I actually own this in a physical copy. And right now, commons, I think, are really, really cheap. Um, so that's a cool one to look at. And, and it's a cool way to look at the app and see, out of all the additions, what they go for. And it doesn't take much for all of a sudden you buy a few and the floor price starts going up really fast. After you pick up the first three, you're looking at 160 down to 200 gems per book. And this market has a lot of users that are going to be coming in. I think San Diego Comic Con is going to bring a lot of people in that see this book and understand its value. Um, and this is just a B tier book in terms of all the other books that are in the app. Uh, if we look at, let's see. Let's look at a bigger book like Ghost Rider. First appearance of Ghost Rider. You have the Marvel Spotlight number five five different editions and look at that art on these so what's really cool is the rare and ultra rares you get exclusive comic art and i really want to appeal to my subscribers because i know they're probably used to me talking about marvel cards and stuff i collect a lot of marvel cards still don't get me wrong i haven't stopped got wolverine right here during the market when it's down this is why i'm making this video now i feel like it's an opportunity to pick up some of these amazing books for real good prices. Let's look at the common with the classic cover that we all recognize as comic collectors. I mean, looking at that in the market, this is a steal right now. I mean, 19 gems, come on. That's not, that's like nothing compared to its potential um, compared to other books. This came down, came out during the beginning of a bear market. So it's a real good opportunity right there. Very low editions for sale. Uh, awesome comic. You know, I mean, basically, this book is going to be one of those uh, grail books to people in the comic world. Uh, let's look at a couple other books. I, I really think the comics are extremely undervalued on the app. Um, when you're on the phone, you can actually open the book, put it in augmented reality, something that we're only in beta with this web app this is how early we are to this project but marvel doesn't just give their ip to any to anybody you know like a disney has more like i said more lawyers than the staff on vv because vv is just a young company but that shows that they did their research on them and they they know how legit this is um looking at this one avengers 4 very important book um there's, there's a lot of nostalgic 90s books I love that I own physical copies of, like X-Men 25, um, the Spider-Man by Todd McFarlane. Um, 
this is the first uh, appearance of Vision. This is a classic art right here. I mean, these are great covers. Already good books, and this is just the beginning. We still haven't seen Amazing Fantasy 15. We haven't seen Giant Size X-Men. We haven't seen the first appearance of Thor, which I feel like is about to come out. I really think Journey into Mystery 83 is the next big book to come in, and I'm trying to save some gems for that comic because... I know it's real life potential, let alone an NFT version, which is even more scarce to find, you know, depending on edition sizes. And a lot of these are all numbered, you know, like this is one I really enjoy. I have about 30 of these. <laughs> uh, Uncanny X-Men 129. I'm just really big on speculating on the future of Marvel. And this is a great long term hold for me. I mean, in terms of speculation, you can't get any better than this. This is Emma Frost, Kitty Pride first appearances of the hellfire club of just a great storyline you know seeing kitty use her powers right here on the secret rare cover for the first time um that's a really great art on these uh, ultra rare and rares which i have um some of those i have one of these uncommons and look there's only 96 for sale and i have like almost 40 or maybe 30 something but yeah in any case this is awesome you know, and look how look how affordable this is. Four four gems. It's like a a comic book you would find in a, a dollar bin, and you get to read it, enjoy it in digital format. I mean, it's it's. I'm very bullish on this project because, as a comic book collector, you you're not going to degrade the book, and you get to still enjoy it and reread a lot of these stories. I get it. You can get these different collectibles. You can read them in different apps. But this is owning a piece of it that's going to be on the blockchain and, and having a piece of Marvel history, you know, the physical, digital, the utility that might come down the line. Who knows? But I'm, I'm excited about what the future holds for this app. You know, it only takes a few to get up to 10 gems. Well, not a few, maybe like 20 books, but exactly like this. This is very stackable right now. I'm about to go back in and buy more of these. Um, it's really good. Uh, let's see. Now that's this. This book's been in the app a long time. So that's another one. That's just a B tier comic. They, that is a great way. If you're coming in the app, you don't want to spend a lot of money right now in a down economy. Say you only have 100 gems. That's a great one to grab, you know? Like, I don't have a huge budget. Like, this is me on my little YouTube channel saying, like, this is what I'm looking at. Like, Strange Tales 111, another great book. Great example. Worth way more than that X-Men, which is more speculative. You have Strange Tales 111? Are you kidding me? Let's see what the common's going for right now. Common's probably really cheap. Five gems. Hello. I mean, less than retail, you can pit, swoop up these commons, classic cover, and read the first appearance of Mordo. I mean, that's a no-brainer. Get a bunch of those. I mean, it, it right before Comic-Con, right before we get a burst of people coming into this app, that's a no-brainer. Uh, let's scroll through a little more of the comics. Um, I really like... Um, all these are obvious grails right here, these top three. Um, if you're looking at deals, more deals that we're talking about here, which I think I'm going to try and talk about more of the underrated books. I love this uh, first appearance of Bishop. That's Jim Lee art right there. Love that. That's 90s for me. This first appearance of Hawkeye went for, like, record-breaking sales. That's a great book to pick up. Um... Let's look at those prices right now for that one. I'll click on the common. Come on, load, load, load. I'm in the mountain. Sorry about my signal. Let's see. It's only 11 gems. So that's down. this is a great, great opportunity. And you know, when there's fear, when there's low sentiment in all the markets, when everything is going down, but prices are going up elsewhere, this is when people are going to make like huge 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 differences when it comes to um their investing and their collecting strategies because usually collectibles they may go down here and there but they're pretty stable and this is a form of collectible even though a lot of the crypto world knows about vv more than the comic world or more than uh 
you know, the other uh, collectibles like Disney, uh, Star Wars, um, just to name a couple of the other IPs that come to mind. Uh, that I'm I'm more interested in the bigger IP. This is a this is a no brainer right here. Scarlet Witch first appearance, common, uncommon right here. Look at this cover. Only 44 available, and you have you have this secret rare looking co uh, uncommon cover, which is really cool. Same with the rare, and the ultra rare. It's like all four. You have opportunity there, and if you're in a lower budget, look at that uncommon. Let's see what that's doing. I bet it's low. Oh my god, 38 gems. My goodness. That's that's intense. Yeah. Wow, I'm still in shock. <laughs> that's a deal, y'all. That's a deal. And I hope I hope people are able to take advantage of this, especially because on my channel you're used to seeing a different thing. So if this is completely new to you and you don't know what I'm talking about, reach out to me on Instagram. I'm Marvelous underscore Pax. I'm willing to help y'all out if you have questions. I had to do a lot of research before I got to a point where I was really willing to put in more and more money when things were going down. But the more and more that I think about it, I have to go with my instincts. This is a no-brainer IP. This is Marvel. This is This is like what we've been geeking out on. And now we don't have to worry about ruining the book. And we can be like, no, look, let me pull this book up. Let me show you what's going on. You know, and that this is just the beginning because we got cash out. We got all these other catalysts that are coming right before the Comic-Con. There's no coincidence about that. I had to put an extra video out to show y'all this is the right website. I think on the last video, I gave the wrong one. It's app.vv.me. And then you log in. But you got to make sure you have your, your it don't lay, download it on your, um, on your phone, on your mobile device, Android slash uh, Apple Store. Get that downloaded and, and go at it. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not saying what to do. I'm just saying this is opportunity and it's fun. I mean, it's a lot more fun than collecting a, a Tesla stock and watching that just go down when you can actually read this comic and, and it's one of those legendary grail books that you could never afford in the real world. I mean, for most of us, we could not afford this book or we need to we need to save for a long long time to get one of these uh, even in a low 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 grade because in a low grade they're, they're tens of thousands of dollars for some of these books um i, I think i think you're looking at like twenty five thousand dollars for an amazing fantasy 15 in a one in a 1.0 I, I mean that's low that's almost like i think 0.5 is the lowest you can get before they they basically say it's torn apart um yeah I mean, that's just kind of my thought. Beta Ray Bill, there's also speculated, speculative books all over this app with uh, uh, the Young Avengers coming out, Beta Ray Bill. Um, you know, you have you have so, so many opportunities. This I mean, this book right here, Solo and Editions. And I don't know if Amazing Fantasy 15 brings that down or brings it up in value because it's basically like a, a an homage to that cover. Uh, with the black suit Spidey on it instead. So that's, I mean, that one right there is so low edition. Um, 83 of them across all of the rarities. Uh, yeah, I mean, this book has become quite the grail. And that's a fun, look at these covers to look at. Look at that art. I mean, just to, it's, it's not just even a flex. It's like, you know, I have something so scarce that I can pair with something else that I, I, I say has stable value. Uh, I get so excited about this stuff. I geek out on it. Sorry. If I nerd out too much, guys, y'all let me know in the comments. Please like if you if you enjoy this kind of comic content. Bl blending it in with the NFTs. I feel like it's time to do a little something different. Show you guys what I've been getting into. I mean, this common, 1900, is the floor. That's crazy. When you put the scarcity on some of these low edition items, what it does to the market, I mean, just hitting this on drop, I can't even imagine. And I wasn't in this community. I came in uh, sometime in November, late, I think December, pretty much. So as things were pumping, pumping, and I've been having the dollar cost average down, but I see the opportunity and catalyst like there is no other. VV is at Comic Con. 
They are at Comic-Con. They are not just at Comic-Con. They are sitting with Marvel. Sitting with Marvel. With Kevin Feige and all of them is my guest. Maybe it's not Marvel Studios, but they're at, they're at the big boy table. You know, they didn't just reserve a little one in the corner. You know, this is a company that they made sure to hit their deadlines and their promises. Now, I'm a Marvel card collector too, so that I've been disappointed by companies not keeping their promises with product, with release dates, with transparency, with bad quality control, with all these different things that there's always going to be flutters. There's always going to be negative uh, sentiment, especially when things are down. This is the time to strike. And if I had more money, I'd be putting it into it. But right now I can at least pay it forward with information and if none of you, none, if I don't even reached out to any of my subscribers, but one, I'm, I'm, I'm good because that one took advantage of opportunity. So I just wanted to share that with y'all. Really appreciate the Marvel fam. I'm gonna be making a lot more videos about this. I think it's worth talking about. I think it's fun. I'll bring people on. I'll, I just want to be part of this community. I think it's a great community. Peace, guys.